Hi everyone, I'm Scott Fritz from Stranded on a Planet, here for Groove3.com. In this video, we'll take a look at Mai Tai, a very powerful new software synthesizer included with Studio One 3.0. Mai Tai is a new polyphonic analog modeling synth. Mai Tai comes with a number of analog modeled bass, bell, drum, lead, pad, polysynth, and string sounds, and provides the framework for all future sound generation components in Studio One. The standout features are included, but not limited to the character section, which allows you to make subtle or drastic morphing effects with a couple of controls, the quality mode, which lets you use your computer's processor power to its full potential by fine-tuning the resolution of the oscillator, filter, and character sections, and an amazingly flexible modulation matrix, which even lets you assign one modulation source to another modulation destination for really advanced routing and sound design. The presets are divided into eight sections as well as a template section that you can use as a starting point for creating your own sounds. The bass presets give you a wide variety of synthesized basses from analog to FM based sounds. Let's take a listen to a few. Next up is the bell section, which can contain rich harmonics and work great with the new arpeggiator note effects. The drum folder contains some analog-based kick drums, pitched up and down the keys as well as a hi-hat and snare that can be tweaked. The effects section contains evolving sound effects that can be used to spice up your productions. The lead folder has over 30 different lead sounds, which can be great for playing your melodic hooks. The pad sounds are great for holding chords and providing a backing atmosphere for your song. The poly folder contains polyphonic synth sounds that can be used for playing rhythmic chords and arpeggiated lines. There's also a strings folder with some analog string sounds if you're looking for that throwback sound or something different than traditional sampled acoustic strings. Lastly, the templates folder provides a number of starting points for designing your own sounds without you having to know too much about programming. The main building blocks of the Mai Tai synth are two oscillators with dedicated sub or bass oscillators, a classic filter section with older classic and newer state-of-the-art zero feedback filters which are usually found in expensive analog synths, the character section, two assignable LFO sections, a dedicated amplitude envelope, as well as two additional assignable and modulatable envelopes, a full effects section featuring pitch modulation effects, delay, reverb, gator, EQ, distortion, and an auto panner, and the modulation matrix, which lets you assign one LFO or envelope to multiple destinations or even other modulation sources. Any sound can be turned into a monophonic or polyphonic sound by adjusting the number of voices on the right, and you can even add pitch portamento or glide effects to a sound. Everything is laid out in a very straightforward manner, and it's very easy to see what's going on clearly. The two oscillators can be switched to sine, triangle, sawtooth, and square waves, 
and can be tuned above and below each other by using the octave, semitone, and fine controls. The spread control can be used to add more voices and depth to a sound by overlaying detuned oscillators on top of the original one. There's also a dedicated noise oscillator which can be mixed into the sound to your liking. Combined with an evolving filter like so, this can make your sound very captivating. The character switch can further shape the sound without having to get into a lot of parameters to do so. The two LFOs, or low frequency oscillators, can be assigned to most parameters and can be set to tempo sync, and can restart every time you play a new key, or can run in free mode like a real analog synth. Keep in mind that running Mai Tai in free mode means you may get different results each time you export audio, so I would only use that if you don't need it to sync up rhythmically with your song. Similarly, the amp envelope, which is hardwired to the amplitude of the sound, and the additional two assignable envelopes, can be assigned through the modulation matrix to multiple parameters. The built-in effects engine provides an easy-to-use modulation section consisting of a chorus, flanger, and phaser. The chorus effect provides several detuned voices, making a sound thicker and richer. The flanger provides a tape flanging sound, which sounds like this. Also, the phaser mixes in a phase-shifted sound with the original, resulting in this popular sound effect. Next up, the delay can be adjusted to a left and right panned or traditional delay and can be put in exact sync with your production by adjusting the time knob here. Feedback and mix controls also let you adjust the number of repeats and the level of the affected sound. To the right of the delay is the reverb effect which can be used to simulate anything from a small room to a large cavern. You can adjust the pre-delay or early reflections, the dampening of the reverb which is caused by different room materials, the size of the room or hall, and control how much of the reverb is comprised of high and low frequencies. The mix knob lets you decide overall how much reverb is mixed in with the dry signal. The second page of the effects section, FXB, starts with a gated effect which provides a 16-step pulsing effect by allowing or not allowing the audio to pass through. You can turn each 16th note on and off, and can even affect the left and or right channels in the stereo mode. You can also adjust the time basis if you want to speed up or slow down the gating effect. The gated effect automatically runs with the Studio One clock so it will always be synced up properly. The EQ section lets you shape the tone further than the oscillators and filters, and has two different frequency ranges for lead sounds and for bass sounds. The distortion generator lets you add several types of distortion to help your sound cut through the mix. While distortion was originally something you wanted to avoid when recording, it's made its way into music production as an invaluable tool. Lastly, an auto panner rounds out the effects section by automatically panning a signal left and right to any note value or even free time. Mai Tai also lets you scale the processing performance if you have a CPU challenged machine or take advantage of a more powerful computer with higher resolution processing by adjusting the quality mode in the lower right corner. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.